and uh, let's find this uh, second uh, layer here. Pull up the mask and subtract or delete it all together. Then uh, scale it down, and uh, I'm just gonna add it right in there. And what that's gonna do is kind of add to the kind of add the depth of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to is I'm going to delete it or I'm going to trim all these blood layers down to right here. All three of these blood layers. So it's a little bit more sudden and it just kind of squirts on like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, command D this one. The one with no mask and bring that one down right there rotate it so that it's just on the dishwasher section and it will stick there because of the motion tracking and uh, basically what we've done is we've created a spray of blood all over this section of the counter and uh, area so this looks pretty good this is uh, just a, this is just a quick shot that kind of encompasses this whole um, this whole idea of the blood splatter so um, yeah you know it looks it looks pretty good um, one thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to pre-compose all these different pieces that are in the same area and what you're gonna want to do is either go command shift C or control shift C if you're on a PC or comp or layer pre-compose I like my shortcuts so I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna go counter blood and that so that's for the counter now we've already pre-composed that, so you can already see that that's cleaned up a lot of it. And this is going to also allow us to do... One problem that we ran into is that we're going to have to re-motion track that, which is fine. It doesn't, doesn't take very long. I'm just going to render this whole section out so I can kind of see where it looks the best. Right there. And uh, just motion track that. So yeah. It's basically the same effect that I had before. So, um, but this is going to allow us to uh, color correct the whole thing at one time. So I'm just going to find the curves and uh, select the counter blood and darken it. Uh, the darker the blood, the better. Unless it's black, you want some of the red still in there. Um, but this is basically just the. This is to make it seem just a little bit more of a real instead of being you know look like movie blood I'm gonna tell you can turn off the mask by clicking that so you can see the whole area you're working with and I'm gonna darken this to match so just uh, darken it like that and the counter blood I also added that so I'm gonna try and match that now you want some of the red in there so the smaller pieces will still look red but that looks really good. So, uh, you know, ideally you're going to want to play around with this bullet hole here to lighten it up once it gets into the light like that. Play around with it, make sure the tracking is perfect, but uh, since that's not the focus of this tutorial, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, so yeah, this is basically, this is basically the, the gist of it. Now one thing that you can do that will add a lot of help in your, in, in this is uh, actually create the bullet. Now I know this kind of sounds weird but what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to a solid and uh, pick out an orangey uh, kind of fiery color to work with and what we're going to do is we're going to create a very thin line just like this. So that's basically our bullet um, what we can do uh, now this is a little big for what we for what we want I'm gonna go in here and adjust the mask a little bit because it's a little thick but basically what we're doing is we're creating the look of the bullet so that there's something to see otherwise the effect is gonna happen and uh, you know it will look it will look good but uh you know this quick orange flash of a bullet will will sell it even more so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna feather this 
like uh, quite a bit but you know so you can still see it um, I'll probably bring that down to like 8 and then we're gonna wanna add a glow now that glow is gonna make it look like fire um, we're just gonna leave it all here and then just work on the intensity a bit you know I'm noticing that it's a, li it's a little large so I'm gonna make the mass expansion will just uh, bring it in a little bit maybe like that so just this little kind of a fading of a of a color and uh, what we're gonna want to do is go to where the the bullet is hit and the that is it so that's pretty good that's a pretty good line right there so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to take this off screen and uh, find where he shot and go two frames before it and uh, hit the hit P keyframe the position go to him have him getting shot by this thing you know, make it a little bit you can make it faster if you want that's a little bit slow so maybe maybe only one frame because you know bullets are really fast obviously and then what we're gonna want to do is uh, press shift T and then keyframe the position right here or the opacity go to the next frame and uh, we might not have to do the opacity but uh, yeah just like that and then uh, just shut it off so for alt and bracket so basically what it is is it's just an orange glow that's gonna pass through his heart kind of where the bullet is and then out the other side into the cupboard so it, it's it is the bullet itself that's uh that's uh going that that fast and what you're gonna want to do is turn on the motion blur so it's it's more of a just kind of a I guess secondary object and you can kind of see that with that object it kind of looks like all this other stuff is being caused by it so uh yeah it's just a subtle subtle little effect and uh, you might want to you know make it a glow a little bit more or um, um, perhaps make it just a tad brighter but uh, I mean uh, you know, this looks pretty good I think so yeah so this has been Zane Olson and Kevin Lutman and this is an Ion Films tutorial for being shot by a bullet